Hey, it's Michelle Mahoney of Heart and Soul Ministries, and today I want to show you um, an unboxing and review um, of It Cosmetics. So if you haven't seen this yet, it comes in a box like this. This is a new online cosmetic company. So it's tryitnow.com is the website, and um, I just got this uh, the other day, and I've I've been using the products because I wanted to be able to tell you what I thought of them, but I put it back together so you can see exactly what it looks like when it comes in the box. So when you open it up, it's going to have some materials inside here with the founder. I don't remember her name. I don't even know if she said it on the um, infomercial. I saw this on an infomercial on TV. I am a notorious um, as seen on TV person. So she had really bad rosacea, if you can see in the picture here. And so she developed this cosmetic line to um, help cover that up and also to be um, beneficial to your skin. So it's supposed to be a skincare line product that's actually good for your skin. She says you can sleep in it. I, I wouldn't, <laughs> I don't sleep in makeup, but um, she says if you, if you do, you can, it's okay. Um, and then there's all this information inside on the actual products and uh, some client um, before and afters and then how to use the products, which is actually really good because uh, I'll show you in a minute. There's the bronzer. It's called a bronzer, but you can actually use it like I use my Smashbox as a toning, highlighting and low lighting product. So that's really good because my Smashbox by itself is uh, $50 and um, I haven't used that as the highlighting and low lighting yet. So we'll get to that. So then it's got uh, some other things, your guide that comes with it, your kit, which is really, really, really important to keep up with this. Really important. Um, and then, of course, the statement. So here's the deal. This is a mail order system, kind of like uh, proactive or something like that, you know, where they charge you every month. This one is uh, generally every uh, three months. And the website, my biggest complaint about this is the website is so confusing. So if you go to tryitnow.com, uh, I believe is what it is, tryitnow.com, and there's two options to get a sample pack. And there is the $50 sample pack, and then there is the full sample pack. Now, I got the $50 sample pack because I wasn't, it was very confusing to me and I'm glad I did because I had to read the website like five times to figure out what in the world was going on. What happens is the, the full size sample pack is $50 charged three times over three months to your credit card. Hey social, how are you doing? Um, so I'm talking about the it cosmetics. So the website, it's one of those things when people set up websites like this, it's really, really shady to me. And so that really gave me a bad uh, taste for the company in general. So read it very, very carefully because the, the pack that I got was $50 and I'll show you all those sample pieces in just a second but the full size one is $150 and it's so difficult to see that on the website and it's really, really difficult to understand it. Now, immediately because of that and because of the way they set up the financial um, aspects of their site and the re-enrollment period and everything, I was thinking that I was probably just gonna call back and just cancel it because I'm not spending $150 every three months on cosmetics. I am a one or once or twice a year to buy makeup gal. And so if you're like me and you're not, you know, spending 50 or $100 every month on cosmetics, you might think this is a really raw deal. However, the pack that it comes with, you can actually customize what you get and you can make your shipments come every up to 20 weeks. And you can also um, cancel your membership and it looks like you can buy individual products as well. So they have an individual price and then they have a membership price. And then you can customize which um, products you get in here once you decide what you really want. So uh, you can get three of them, uh, anywhere between three and eight different, um, you know, pieces of cosmetics, right? 
And so this, this guide, this is the thing that if you buy this, you want to get the sample pack that's $50 only, not the full size one. That way you can try it out for your face. And you want to pay very, very close attention to this. And do not lose this because uh, it's going to show you how to change and the 800 number to call to change and do your things. Otherwise, you're going to be getting charged $150 every three months, which is it's actually $50 every single month. Um, and then they'll just keep sending you the shipments. You'll be like, oh, my God, I have all this stuff. So here's what it looks like inside. Um, after you get your paperwork, there's just a covering here that's got, pull it out, it's wrapped. <laughs> it's just a piece of paper. And it is your Live, Laugh, Love, Vitality Face Disc, um, which is actually the bronzer is what they call it. But you can actually use this as a um, highlight and low light system. Like I said, like I use my Smashbox. So this is good. And this is actually, they call this the illuminator, which is the low light, the darkening one, which is your contouring. If you know how to contour your face, I did a video on that um, on Periscope. And uh, I think it's on my YouTube channel. But um, that's an interesting thing. It's it's really good. It's what Kim Kardashian and a lot of movie stars do, um, where you you know make your parts of your face really dark and then the other parts really light. It really brings out your best features. And um, and then this is blush, which I did not know until I read the instructions. Because when when someone says, "Hey, this is your bronzing thing," usually in a bronzing pack, you just rub the brush over the whole thing and and do it. But this is actually uh, three separate things in that one you use as blush. I'm not the smartest makeup person in the world. I need these things explained to me. <laughs> but those instructions are in uh, this larger thing that comes with it. So read the instructions. Then you get this really super cool brush um, for that. And it's got a brush on this end. Now, something like this, you would pay probably $40 or $60 at Ulta or some other beauty supply store. So, um, you know, just that. I, I'm pretty happy with that. I paid $50 for my sample pack and I got a brush that's almost that much. So, you know, that to me is worth it to get this sample pack. And then inside you have some more stuff. So you've got the bag that you can put your things in. This is kind of like if you got if you've ever got Mary Kay, um, I have their hand pack. It's, you know, you can put your stuff in here. I personally don't like to keep my cosmetics in bags like this because when things are in bags, I don't use them. I, I'm really weird like that. Like I can't figure out that they're there. I can't see them and I don't use them. So that's just my own personal weirdness. Um, but if you like the bag, there is a bag for you. And then da -da, you get all of this stuff. So it's actually a pretty good deal, you know, for 50 bucks. So you get the concealer. This stuff is the bomb, and you don't need very much of it at all. Um, I would buy this again and again. I really, really like this. There's different levels that you get. I got light, and um, everything in my, my kit is light for because I am like Casper White. It's crazy. But when you pull it out, I'm going to put a very – you probably can't see that. It looks light on my – computer screen. It's actually in person. It looks pretty dark. Um, so that was a little scary, uh, but it rubs on really nicely. I really, really like the concealer. So that to me is worth it right there. I will buy that again. The next thing you get, hi Alma, um, is this bye bye. My computer won't. <laughs> it's like glaring. Bye bye um, foundation. So this is why I was interested in the kit. This is supposed to be a combination moisturizer and um, foundation that's supposed to be really, really good for your skin. And so you're supposed to just be able to rub it on and go. So the first time I tried this, it was just like flaky and cakey and just I was not happy at all. So what I would recommend is you do not use this just as your moisturizer. You need a moisturizer. And so you need some kind of foundation for your skin. So I actually use uh, Mary Kay's TimeWise. I don't know if you can see that. It's so glary in here today. Hey, look at that. Maybe if I, there's a light above me. But this is what I use, the Mary Kay TimeWise um, Day Solution. It's a sunscreen. I'm not crazy about sunscreens, but we won't go into that debate. Um, 
broad spectrum, whatever. I really like this stuff because especially in the winter, my skin is so dehydrated and so just dry and cracky. Uh, so you need a separate moisturizer. It doesn't have to be Mary Kay or whatever, but just try and use the It Cosmetics foundation as the moisturizer combination probably is not going to work. So if you're thinking, oh, I won't need anything else, you, you're actually going to need um, a couple of different things, and I'll tell you what they are. But you get this. It's, it's really good. Again, it comes out super dark. When you first get it, it's this pump thing. It takes like 50 pumps to freaking get this thing going. So just keep pumping. Um, I was getting a little worried for a while. Now this scared me because this is the light one. And again, you, it's hard to tell on my computer, but this is pretty dark looking. And um, especially if you don't use a separate moisturizer, it's too dark for someone like me. Um, but once I use the moisturizer and then put the concealer on too, which really helps my red my red skin. They say to put the concealer just under your eyes, but I actually use it on my cheeks because I have those red cheeks. And then this, um, then it turned out really well. So, um, oh, and I put it on here. Actually, that might help you see the color a little bit, although white's pretty glary. But um, it just looks dark, you know? Makeup normally that dark of a color for someone as white as me doesn't work. And this is the lightest color they have. So I was really happy that it actually worked. Um, I like the foundation pretty good. I think if I, I might keep buying it. I might. I'm, the jury's still out on this one. But definitely I'll get the concealer and then I'll, I'm just considering this. Okay, so then in the pack, you've got the concealer. You've got the foundation. Uh, then you get the No Tug Waterproof Gel Eyeliner which eyeliner is always a pain for me. Um, I've had wrinkles on my eyelids since I was about 23, 24 years old. And so this is the sample size again. This is not the full size because I didn't want to spend $150 on the full size for <laughs> cosmetics I've never tried before. That would be stupid. Um, so it's got a tiny, tiny little tip. And it works pretty good with someone with a lot of wrinkles on their eyelids like I have. I mean, they're just, at this point, unbelievably wrinkled like I was trying to put on my makeup this morning I was like wow I mean <laughs> I, I can't even imagine what they're gonna look like when I'm 70 years old so um, that's but that's you know a problem for me but this stuff seems to work pretty good it's supposed to be all day waterproof so if you're a uh, eyeliner person you know it can be really hard to find a good eyeliner a lot of the gels are really thick and they just kind of glop on and they're weird and I don't like them but uh, this seems to go on as far as if I could put on eyeliner, this would go on really, really well. So I do like it. I do like it. Um, I'm not a big eyeliner person just because of my wrinkles, but that's okay. So here's the cool, the next cool thing you get is this eyebrow pencil. And I don't even know what color this is. Oh, that's the wrong end. But it's kind of a brownish, charcoal-y color. Um, and it goes on really easy. You just kind of put a little on there and then you get this really cool brush on the other end. Oop, there it is to brush it through. Um, and this works really, really well. So I was happy with this. I don't use eyebrow pencils a lot, but I will use this. I'll probably rebuy one later. This is eyebrow pencils to me are not like an everyday necessity. So this will be a sometime kind of thing. Hi, Tracy. Hi, Mycroft. Um, so we're talking about It Cosmetics and the sample pack I got. And then the last, well, one of the last things you get is the Hello Lashes Mascara. Another reason I wanted to buy this is because my mascara is like a year and a half old and you're only supposed to buy it, you know, have it for a year. And I have a lot of trouble finding mascara that's good. So this, this is really weird, though, I will tell you. It gets really clumpy at the end because it's got this like barbaric, I don't know who watched Mad Max Beyond Thunderdome and decided to make their mascara wand look like this, but it gets really super clumpy here at the end because it's got this big thing and I do not like that at all. Um, it really clumps on your lashes. It, I don't know, the formula is just not that great. 
it seems to, if you blink at all, it gets immediately on your eyelids. I hate that when mascara does that. There's a lot of quick dry mascaras out there that you can put on and if you blink, then you know it's not gonna make you look like a raccoon. And um, I just, I'm not a fan. Not a fan of the wand at all. I think it's a crappy design. I, I don't know who thought of this, but pfft, no. Um, so I will not be rebuying the mascara. Um, but you know, I have it for now. It just doesn't seem to be that great. And then you have the, let's see. Well, let me just put it back on and show you. You've got the finishing blush. It's called Bye Bye Pores. And it's actually one of those little powder things. So it's got that. And then you can, you can let your dogs bark, guys. And, and it's supposed to be your finishing powder. So after you've got everything on, it helps set it. Um, this seemed okay. I'm not a big fan of using, Ooh. stop it, of using these things for finishing powder. I'm actually, uh, I would recommend using another brush that's like this. So if you have a, another one to kind of just finish it out. Um, I happen to like that a lot. I don't know what you guys are growling about. Go lay down. <laughs> and then the last thing you get is this um, Vitality Lip Flush. So this is lip gloss. And it says anti-aging lip balm, lipstick, lip gloss, and lip stain. Apparently it's everything that you could possibly ever think of to put lip in front of. And, uh, and it is here. So... When you open it up, this stuff is crazy. Um, I tried it already, and it, I don't know what is in this. Actually, I do know what is in this because the, the ingredients are on here, and the ingredients are also in one of the papers that you get in the box, so it'll tell you. But this is, it seems clear, but as you start to use it, it starts to get this red tint and when you put it on your lips actually kind of puff up a little bit and then they they turn like a light pinkish red color not like pink pink but uh it's really interesting so if you just put this on just like this uh which i've used this once today already i don't know it, it just immediately kind of turns them a little bit pinky and and it starts to puff your lips a little they get they get a little bigger I don't know what's in them that does that it's kind of crazy I'm gonna I'm gonna look into that but I kind of like it so um, I would definitely buy this again so that is everything that you get in the box um, so you may have noticed there's a couple of things missing I thought blush was missing but again you can use your pack over here so your pack, you can use this as a contouring and you can use the blush in here. So that, that will work for your blush, but you've got no eyeshadow at all. So I actually have, I use um, this pack by Maybelline called the Nudes. I just, you can buy it at Target or anywhere like this. I just happen to like this one. I've been using it for, for the last like three or four or five years. Um, I really like a couple of the colors in here I use them completely out there is also apparently I, when I got the cosmetic kit I did not know this but you can buy their eyeshadow palette as well and so it's called naturally pretty it doesn't look like it has all of the colors that I actually use and like so I'm probably not going to buy this and it's also $42 or if you remember it's $36 and I think this one I got at Target for like 10 bucks and it'll last me 8 to 12 months <laughs> so again I'm not a really big fan of spending tons and tons of money on makeup unless I think that it's really really something you know it's really beneficial so what I would buy again is the lip balm I think it's cool um, you can still use another lip color on top of it and you'll probably want to do that at least most of the time 
And I would also definitely get the concealer. This stuff is the bomb. And I'm thinking about the foundation. So we will see. As far as the um, the contouring thing, I, I'm gonna try this one again, but I kind of like my Smashbox as for um, you know contouring and, and that kind of thing. So I'm probably not gonna give up my Smashbox. It's $50, but it lasts me, again, six, eight, 12 months, um, depending on how often I wear makeup. Uh, whereas this is more expensive. And um, and I think that's probably all I will rebuy. But I do like the fact that I got my handy dandy, <laughs> my handy dandy brush. So that's good. Um, so that's my review and what you get in IT Cosmetics. Again, remember, if you decide to try it, which that's the thing, tryit.com. Where's there? Ah, there it is. Tryitnow.com. If you decide to try it, remember their pricing is really sketchy. And that being auto charged every month for three months, um, that can be a pain. So hopefully it's easy for me to turn it off. Um, and I will keep a record. I'll probably record the phone call on my end that I did turn it off and make them send me a confirmation email that same day. A lot of companies will say that they've turned it off and then if you don't tell them to send you a confirmation email right then, they don't turn it off. It just keeps auto charging. Um, so I'm always concerned about auto charging companies. Most of them these days are really good about turning things off because you can just call your credit card and be like, no, I told them no. They're cool. Um, but the information and the phone number to do that is in the packet that you get. And so um, hopefully that will help you make a decision about whether or not it is for you. But um, the, the claims about you don't need a moisturizer, this is going to be like your all-in-one solution, not really, not really for me. Um, probably not for you either, especially if it's, you know, winter where you are. Um, you're definitely going to need a separate moisturizer. And when you put that under the concealer and then use the foundation, then it looks pretty good. So that is what I think about that. If you want uh, more information, be sure to subscribe to my channel here on Blab. And you can find me at michellemahoney.org. Um, that is where I talk about all kinds of spiritual things because I believe that makeup can also be a spiritual practice. Everything in your life can be a spiritual practice and making yourself feel good and look good and you know it, it just brings out who you really are I know a lot of people in the spiritual communities don't wear makeup and they think that makeup is um, not spiritual and I just think that's a joke because you know God gave you a wonderful body take care of it take pride in yourself look good and uh, do what you can to make yourself feel good and um, makeup is definitely one of those things that can really enhance who you are and help you get out there and be who you were created to be. So look over there for me, michellemahoney.org, and I will see you on another video.